Hi guys, my name is Master Marcio Stembowski. I'm uh, under House Gracie and I do Jiu Jitsu almost for 42 years. Also, we have uh, a team called Makara BJJ Team. And we are here for show you guys a couple of videos um, for the, the week. Hi guys, that week I'm gonna show you guys how to defend push to the chest or defend a punch and take two, two to the mouth position and hold the mouth position. In my vision is really important when you do a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We have to look about the balance, we have to look about the frame, we have to look about the leverage and also we have to look about the angle. The first position that I'm going to show you guys, defend it through the push in the chest, we can work in all four situations that I'm talking about. So guys, imagine the situation you are on the street, one party, something like that, some crazy guy start to push in your chest. That's the scenario here, okay, they push your chest. So first of all, if you don't know Jiu Jitsu, sometimes you want to punch the guy, uh, something like that, and it's going to be a big problem, you know, it can hurt the guy, the guy can hurt, police is coming. If you know Jiu Jitsu, you're going to just finish, you're going to submit the guy. The thing is, he's put the hand in my chest, like I talked before, I have to have a balance first, okay, I like to be square. So if I'm not square, if I'm that position here, he put the hand, I already go square make my chest like one wall so that his hand not gonna slide out something like that i'm i'm a i'm a square here now first of all i have my balance second i have to frame his hands in my chest what i'm doing here i use my opposite side of my hand grab his hand the same side of his arm i grab his elbow like that now i got my balance and i got my frame okay so as soon as I have the situation, I'm going to walk in through him. I'm going to do a big step with my both foot very close to him. Release the hand in the wrist and put that the hand behind uh, his elbow here, top of the first hand. And my ear is going through his shoulder so that I have no way, he have no way to take it out. I have a balance. I have a frame and now I have the leverage and also the way that I have him not able to punch in my face. If you look, walk around, you see that hand is not able to punch my face. If I'm a little bit here, I'm going to punch my face, he can knock me down. So now the situation is cannot do that. I have a both hands behind here. Now I'm going to work to the angle. So you see his hands here. It's going to be like on joystick, the kids play video games. I have to make sure I'm going to push all his hand that way here so that I can break his wrist. Of course, we don't want to break his wrist. We want to make him tap. So he's here, here. Now I got to work. I press my chest forward. I open and press my chest forward. I pull my hands to uh, turn to my chest. And he's tapping. Okay, guys, I have to figure out here. Sometimes I push forward, lift a little bit. I have to figure out the angle here. To see if the angle sideways is escape. If the angle here have a not, I have a not a good way. Now here, look guys. I gotta push forward and bring his elbow turn to my chest. Now he's already tapping. He put the hand in my chest and make sure I'm square. Opposite hand, I grab his hand. Tur turns to my chest, another hand, like when I hold a glass of water, I grab his elbow over here, so that I have a, first of all, I have a, my balance, second, I frame his arm in my chest, okay, now I gotta walk it through into him, two legs, square again, release the hand in the wrist, grab both the hands in the, his, behind his elbow, 
now he's not able to take it out more. And also, the same time I put my ears in his shoulder, no giving him opportunity to punch my face and knock me down. So as soon as I have a here, now I got my balance, I got my frame, I got my leverage. Now I got to work with the angle, push and pull, and make him tap. Okay, guys. Also, in that situation here, when I have him here, if he try to go near my, my parts, I already finish. If I saw he try punch me, I already finish too. So I don't need to do power over there. I just hold him. And then if that situation is on the street, I'm going to ask to him, you want to fight? No. Okay, they say not because I can break his wrist. So as soon as they say not, okay, that the hand opposite side, I push his hand down. I walk on his side and grab his triceps over here. And now we can walk and say, hey, my friend, let's get some water, refresh your mind. It's better we not fight, right? Right. Yes. So because also here when I have that position, if I feel some reaction, I can do that. And also I can break his arm over here. Balance. Frame. Leverage. Angle. So guys, imagine this scenario, um, I'm starting to talk to him like a bouncer or stuff like that. We don't fight already, we just argue. So normally, very common aggression, the guy gonna try to punch me like an open punch, boom! So my first concern, if I have some problem with him on the streets or something like that, I like to put my hands together like that. So it's very common, so I can go inside for block his punching. So imagine I'm starting to argue to him, I don't need to go exactly like that, because if I do that, I show him already I want to fight, always. I think the much important thing is respect, so that you can avoid many trouble. So now I'm starting to talk to him, he's arguing with me, I'm like that, okay? Hey, my friend, I'm good. What's your problem? And then when he try to punch, I'm step forward, going through here, okay? And now I walk around. You see that hand, I defend my chin and my, chest, and my, my face. Another one I pass him through. So when I pass him through, guys, I use my arm and pit to block his arm, my hand like that to grab his triceps, the other hand I go on that and put in my face, I glue in his face here and his shoulder so that he's not able to take it out and punch my face also. Okay, I'm already here. If I do a mistake here and put my face to that side here, look, he's gonna punch my face. So always I'm block the same side. I like to step forward. You see guys, I don't need to hold the arm like that. I like to be forward. Why? Because the Jiu Jitsu guys want to go very close. The contact is really important. I grab his arm pit. I grab his arm with my arm pit. I grab his triceps. The other hand going the knee here. And I'm in my comfort zone now. Okay, he tried to pull it out. I gotta follow him. Anyway, his goal, I can follow him. So now he's not able more to punch me again in my comfort zone. Okay guys, my hands between his arm like in the center of him. As soon as we do slow motion, I'm step forward, go through, trap his arm with my arm pit, my hand, another one, I go on the arm pit here. And now I am in my comfort zone. He's not have an angle to punch my face, he's have no angle to do nothing more, I'm in my comfort zone. Guys, don't forget, the side is gonna punch me. I like to step my leg forward and lift my arm. Look, I'm gonna be here. If the punch, you see the punch, you can back again, please. Try to do more here. My shoulder, protect the punch. 
So no bow in my face. I don't have to worry about the other hand I protect too. If you try, look, I have a bold hand, I can do both over too. But imagine you're gonna use just one hand. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I block the punch, I'm gonna throw him. I'm gonna use the outside hook or Sotogari, how you prefer call. You have a bunch of the other ones, at least four more throws. But for today, you're gonna do just that Osotogari or outside the hook throw. So as soon as he go for punishment, I'm off, block. Now, you see guys, I hold him. The same side I have on his arm under my armpit, I like to step forward. The other side, my hand under his armpit, I like to lift my elbow so that I, block, I break the guy's posture. Now my leg behind, in the case my right leg, I'm gonna go forward, hook his legs, pass through him. Now I can put me in the belly and control the guy like that. In that situation, I can punch him on the face. I can do many stuff over there. That's just near the belly. And after that, if I want, I can put my hand on the ground, slide my knee, in mouth and him make a mouth position. So guys, after I throw him, when I put in the belly, we call in the belly, but it's not really in the belly. A little bit more turn to the flat, a little bit here. Okay, I hold his face, I can punch. If he's to hug my arm, Peter, here, look. I can use the arm for already finishing him. I wrap up his arm, true. Put my hand on his shoulder, another hand I hold my wrist. And I'm gonna arch my back break his arm. I have to figure out the angle here. If I can turn his arm a little bit more inside here, now I got a better angle. Also, I have an bar over here. Mouth. I have to try to keep my mouth. If the guy have a legs, foot on the ground, I hook his legs. Make my body heavy here. It's gonna be really hard for push me out. It's gonna be really hard. If his legs are straight on the ground, I have a no way to try to push my chest. I have to swing and my hands go inside, put on the ground. Put all my weights here the ground. 